People in Europe have recently become more sensitive to such alarms after a wave of attacks on the continent prompted top officials to talk of a uh, so-called new reality. We should learn to live with terrorism. We are facing a war that terrorism has started against us. The entire EU is Germany. Its focal point is the target of international terrorism. And we have to expect attacks by small groups of radicalized loan operators. German domestic intelligence says it's recorded over 300 cases of Islamist radicals trying to recruit fighters inside refugee centers. It also warns the real number might be higher. There are more than 340 cases which have become known to us. These are only the ones we know about. There are probably more cases. Officials say they now need to focus on those who are being radicalized inside the country and not terrorists coming from abroad. Peter Oliver reports. The head of Germany's domestic security service has warned that over 340 times radical Islamic groups have tried to recruit refugees to their organization. They've been targeting asylum centers. He's not just talking about organizations, terrorist organizations like the Islamic State. He's also looking at those groups that could provide materials for what he termed self-radicalization that could result in lone wolf attacks. Now he wants more power for his organization to be able to look into exactly which religious groups are dealing with refugees here in Germany. And it comes as people across the country are starting to get more concerned about who's coming to Germany and who's already here. Asylum seekers cause a massive financial burden for our state and, as we have seen during the last few weeks, there are security problems. Take the most recent attack in Ansbach and Reutlingen. Well, one political party with a different take on how to tackle what they see as the country's problem with refugees is alternative for Germany. Their leader, Franco Petri, never wanted to shy away from controversy. Illegal migrants and asylum seekers whose applications are rejected will be accommodated on the two islands outside Europe that are protected by the United Nations. But seriously, there is an issue when it comes to how to stop refugees from becoming radicalized. And at the moment, there's nobody with a clear solution on how to stop that. Reporting from Berlin for RT, I'm Peter Oliver.